been so you know i eventually lost his job last year november yeah ever since then he's been without a job so today and we are picking up all my stuff and yeah i'm closing my studio it's like We're not defeated, we promote it. Ons moet te bedie as van hierdie hee, want hierdie is ons memory. Sy rag bedie. My name is Kevin. And I want to apply for a position in Megatronics, Mechanical Engineering or Electrical Engineering. I am a hands-on, eager, hard-working individual. Okay, we're sending the email saying we are ready to take on interviews. How do you feel? Ready, ready. I'll be nervous for the interview. <laughs> Come on. Fantastic. No, I'm happy. Uh, if, if, if I could, I would have jumped up and down, but I'm scared you think I'm unprofessional, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 Alright, thanks for, uh, for your time and we should meet to each other soon again. Cool man, thank you, bye bye. Alright, thanks sir, bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> yeah, of course it's like ex nervous, I'm excited. First interview. <laughs> so today Kev is having two interviews, he actually got two interviews. Um, how are you feeling husband? Are you a bit nervous? Still off my hands. <laughs> oh, so yeah, excited. Obviously a bit nervous, you know, it's uh, having our future. Yeah, that is so true. Feel like this. <sighs> yeah. That I need to work. Uh, as soon as that I can climb on the plane and come over. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. I'll speak with you then later. Okay. Shop, bye bye. This is my drink, it is. Yeah. Oh, wait. So yeah. I'm bringing out the fight, yeah. I'm putting on all the lightning. Cause I'm looking for a hero. Look inside the mirror. I find. Dust it off and I fall down. Okay. Nog steeds me aan. Pamo, ons het vandag bykie nies wat ons graag met julle wil deel. En ons had het baie waar graag in persoon uit den, maar as gevoel van Kouwerd, het ons maar besluit op ons naaste vrienden en familie hierdie video te maak voor jylle dit eers aan jy sien of hoor. Wy verhuise na Nederland! Cheers! Cheers! Hey jylle twee, so, ek het vir die oomlik gedink jylle gaan vir my sê jylle swanger, wat ek eerder verkies op hierdie oomlik, maar ek wens jylle alle sterkte en alle voorspoed vir die toekomst. Ek het nou nie een glas water of een glas champagne nie, maar ek het een koffie. So cheers! So ja, ons is so baie blij vir julle. Veel na raak, ek ook heel emotioneel vir julle paard. En mys moet gaan. 
op die pad waar die heren jou lei. Maar ik is flip en ik zoet het vir julle en ik bid dat alles gaan smooth gaan. My friend. Nee, wacht, ik zal je nu een boodschap sturen. Maar dit is happy tears. Wow, wow, wow julle. Ek het skoon en nerfleis gekryd toe ek hierna luister. Ek is so blij vir julle. I'm wearing a face mask. We just finished the video calling everyone. Um, Kev said bye to everyone, trying to social distance because tomorrow he's doing his COVID test to be able to fly. A bit emotional. It's not reality skiing, but it doesn't feel real. So, yeah. No. The moment is golden. <laughs> On his way to get a COVID test. <laughs> Study, study, study. Only seven more days until my exam. Whew, the nerves are settling in.
my sister-in-law and brother-in-law came home with this a surprise for me to say congratulations and they even got my favorite cupcakes which is just the best and champagne Ooh. you know just two days ago i was filming a video which i decided not to use for this video because i was just crying uncontrollably like i missed kevin and i missed ivan and i was feeling extremely sad and then last night at half past 11 got an email from the ind and it's my exam results and i started shaking like uncontrollably like shaking so badly and when i opened up the document it showed that i passed with a hundred percent this is this couldn't have come at a better time because honestly i was just feeling so down and then this morning i woke up and my sister-in-law and then went here and then i was feeling so like sad you know like how am i gonna celebrate this and then they walked in from the shops with like congratulation balloons and a cheers little champagne bottle and it's, it's just so special i'm so happy this is one step closer now we can finally submit my visa application and then the waiting begins So I know you guys are probably wondering if I'm taking stuff with, and we are, we are, I actually just booked it this morning, we're taking a very small cube over, which I have my stuff there at the back, packing some things, but most of the stuff I've been selling since last year, December month, so what you guys didn't know is when you're buying my stuff, you're actually paying for this cube, girl, <laughs> so thanks. Still is helping me packing. <laughs> what a job so i just came to collect my carpet i'm having that deep clean because i really really want to take that with but it looks like an absolute mess over here at least we're getting somewhere um i've already packed like a lot of boxes this i kind of just put here just to remember but there i've packed most of it so i'd say half of it and then i'm busy finishing up this box I'm busy packing up this makeup to refill really the boxes and bubble wrap them so they can get in. And then this is all the stuff that I need to sell. Okay, except my three barrel cold song. But that I need to sell. And then I have like these that I need to sell. And then in these drawers, which I'm also going to sell, I've got these that I'm going to sell. And then I still need to sort my lipsticks. So yeah, still a lot to do, but every day doing a little bit helps. <laughs> so I just finished packing my box, everything. So these things will be pushed in between little gaps and stuff, but it was so stressful. But it's packed. So ready for collection. So all the cube stuff are kind of laid out and ready to be packed when the truck arrives. Worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours Come Rain or shine I'll cover you up and calm the skies As long
Hey guys, so uh, finally our cube has arrived and uh, in the Netherlands, so I'm gonna quickly unpack it. I wish my wife was here to assist me, but I'm all alone, so uh, thumbs up. That, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I am exhausted, but that is a wrap. So uh, obviously unpacking makes it a bit emotional. I went through all the boxes uh, just to check if my wife isn't in there. But unfortunately not, so it's a little bit of wait for her to come. And uh, yeah, ex bye Livio, and now miss you nog meer. See you bye gau. Love you. Hey guys, so a lot of time has passed and I just was never ready to talk. Even now, um, my grandmother passed away this morning and it's been a very, very emotional few weeks. I plan on filming a separate story where I talk about everything in detail, what we did. But long story short, beginning of July, my visa for residency was declined. And as you can imagine, it was absolutely devastating news. Um, I was an emotional wreck for quite some time. I remember some days just laying in bed, doing nothing, just crying. Um, but you know, it's crazy to think that everything happens for a reason because somehow I'm kind of thinking maybe I was supposed to be here to support my family um, during this difficult time because the latest we would have gotten news was the beginning of August and obviously today is the 29th of August. So long story short we had three different options i wanted to go visit kev but the chances are probably big that they would have declined my visiting visa just because i've already sold everything i'm nothing on my name so they'll probably see that i don't have anything to come back to so we decided you know let's just reapply get all the documents ready pay for the visa again send everything in um so that was submitted end of july and um, and then Kev said he's gonna come visit, which today is the day <laughs> that I'm picking up at the airport. And it's just mixed emotions because obviously with my grandmother, I'm heartbroken, but I'm so excited to see him and it's almost been seven months. So, yeah, I'm just so happy to see him even though he'll just be visiting for two weeks We're really hoping and praying that the visa will come through so I can go with him back to the Netherlands um, So we're really excited just to spend some time together and with family And then of course my application actually went into bundling two weeks ago So we're kind of just waiting for the answer but that is basically the update. I'm going to try and take a video of the moment he comes in. He's about to land. I'm watching him on flight radar. So I'm going to go in. He just landed on the landing strip. <laughs> I feel so nervous to see him, but I'm so excited. I'm like emotional. <laughs>
so if you guys have been following me on my social media you probably saw that we tried to move our plane tickets from the saturday going to cape town to the friday so we could make my grand's funeral but Safi wanted to charge us 4,000 Rand to change our tickets, which was just insane on top of what we've already paid. Um, so it couldn't happen. And for some reason, I just felt like we had to be here on the Friday. Something was going to happen. We kept checking the website every single day and Kev has to be logged on to Wi-Fi to see our answer on the residency application and the MVV visa and then Friday we checked before my grand's funeral nothing and then while we're watching the funeral my uncle who is a pastor he did the service he spoke about Jeremiah 29 verse 11 which is a verse that I've really been praying over this whole situation knowing that everything happens for a reason God's plan is to prosper us and not to harm us and when he said that I just had this feeling that God wanted us to mourn and deal with the feelings of my grandmother's passing and then afterwards good news is gonna come I had that feeling and then after my grand's funeral I said Kev you must check you must check the the website so we sat on the couch and he logged in, scrolled, went through, and then and he got to the page, and we saw Anfroch is afgehandeld. And we both like looked at each other like with big eyes, and it had a letter attached, which would then say yes, or it would say no. And I had my phone with me. I immediately pressed record. Here is what happened. Okay, I'm okay, very good. It's afgehandeld. You said full of a heart and full of cry. Okay. Yes, I could freak it out and ventilate it full of it. Is it? Is it the keer? Is it not her? Make snel an afspraak for the MVV visa sticker. This is Stars, I keep 
have like Ilta on them but we are finally home I've dreamt about being in this place for seven months and now I can be with Kevin and we can share this amazing journey with you guys <laughs> we are finally together in our own little home I wanted to end this video on a positive note because you guys have seen everything we've gone through these past few months and to be able to be here like Kev was saying in the airplane like this is our promotion you know and God just really opened up the doors for us on the right time and we hope you are looking forward to some vlogs in our new home in the new Netherlands. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope that this testimony gives you hope if you are going through something difficult. And just know that God's time is never our time, but God's time is always the right time. So until my next video, as always, stay sweet. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>